Hi, and welcome to Statistical Methods and Applied Mathematics in Data Science by Cyril Rossant, a video course by Pact Publishing. I'm Drew Campbell, and I will be the presenter for this course. Cyril Rossant is a neuroscience researcher and software engineer at University College London. He is a graduate of École Normale Supérieure, Paris, where he studied mathematics and computer science. He's also worked at Princeton University and Collège de France. While working on data science and software engineering projects, he has gained experience in numerical computing, parallel computing, and high-performance data visualization. He is the author of Learning IPython for Interactive Computing and Data Visualization, 2nd edition, a book by Pact Publishing. Now, before we start, let's have a look at our journey at one glance. The first section, Statistical Data Analysis, covers methods for getting insights into data. It introduces classic frequentist and Bayesian methods for hypothesis testing, parametric and non-parametric estimation, and model inference. Next, we'll move to the second section, Machine Learning, where we'll cover methods to learn and make predictions from data. Using the scikit-learn Python package, this section illustrates fundamental data mining and machine learning concepts such as supervised and unsupervised learning, classification, regression, feature selection, feature extraction, overfitting, regularization, cross-validation, and grid search. Then we'll move ahead to numerical optimization, covers minimizing and maximizing mathematical functions. This topic is pervasive in data science, notably in statistics, machine learning, and signal processing. This chapter illustrates a few route finding, minimization, and curve fitting routines with SciPy. The fourth section, Signal Processing, covers extracting relevant information from complex and noisy data. These steps are sometimes required prior to running statistical and data mining algorithms. This section introduces basic signal processing methods, such as Fourier transforms and digital filters. Moving ahead, we will explore about image and audio processing, covers signal processing methods for images and sounds. This section introduces image filtering, segmentation, computer vision, and face detection with scikit image and OpenCV. It also presents methods for audio processing and synthesis. Then we will dive into deterministic dynamical systems, describes the dynamical processes underlying particular types of data. It illustrates simulation techniques for discrete time dynamical systems, as well as for ordinary differential equations and partial differential equations. After that, we'll look into stochastic dynamical systems, which describes the dynamical random processes underlying particular types of data. It illustrates simulation techniques for discrete time Markov chains, point processes, and stochastic differential equations. Finally, the last section, Graphs, Geometry, and Geographic Information Systems, covers analysis and visualization methods for graphs, flight networks, road networks, maps, and geographic data. By the end of this course, you will be able to visualize data and create interactive plots in Jupyter Notebook. At the same time, you could analyze data with Bayesian or frequentist statistics and learn from actual data through machine learning. You will gain valuable insights into signals, images, and sounds with SciPy, Scikit Image, and OpenCV. You could simulate deterministic and stochastic dynamical systems in Python. Last but not least, you will be familiarized with math in Python to solve different problems in algebra, analysis, logic, graphs, geometry, and probability theory. This practical hands-on course will teach you how to analyze and visualize all kinds of data in Python. This course is intended for anyone interested in machine learning and data science. Students, researchers, teachers, engineers, analysts, and hobbyists. A basic knowledge of calculus linear algebra, and probability theory is expected. And you just need a machine with Jupyter Notebook installed on it, along with Python version 3.6 or above. So let's not wait and get started with this amazing journey right now.